channel and hello if you are new here as you can see from the title girl today is a super super exciting video because i am back with a zara haul now not gonna lie i did take a little ban from zara for a few months because honestly there was a time where i was going on zara every single day and just like i need everything in my basket not good for the bank balance guys not good so yeah i did take a little ban and oh my god it felt so good to get back online and have a look and pick out some new things for spring summer so that is exactly what i have done and boy i have got a ton of stuff to show you we have got so much to get through today so if you're looking to revamp your spring summer wardrobe you want some inspo also got some nice suits for evening yeah so this is a video for you but before we do get into the bulk of the video today i first just want to say a massive thank you to glossy box for sponsoring this video oh my goodness guys if you don't know who glossy box are then you need to get to know honestly i absolutely love this brand so if you don't already know who glossy box are glossy box are basically a monthly subscription company so you can sign up for like one month three months six months however long you want you don't have to straight away sign into a six month contract or anything like that you can literally get one month but basically what it means is you will get a box deliver to your door every single month and you will get five products within the box so they could be beauty products hair products skincare makeup you get the gist um, and yeah every single month as well what i love with glossy box is they normally have some sort of theme like for valentine's day it came in a gorgeous like valentine's box and this month it was either fruity or floral so glossy box subscribers were going to get either a floral box or a fruity box so this is april's glossy box so as you can see i got the fruity one so it's got these gorgeous fruit eyes in this beautiful pretty box and do you know what i feel like they're so recyclable the boxes are like i use their boxes every single month because they're just so pretty i even use them do you know to like put people's presents in and give them for like the birthdays and christmases and stuff so that's always a good idea as well because you can pay a dollar for these boxes you know so yeah this is what the box looks like and let me just show you what you get in they always just come so beautifully packaged so you'll get a leaflet every single month just telling you the overview and what is inside your box so you get a full breakdown of what products are inside um, and then look guys like just look how beautiful that is we've got a little ribbon um, and it's stuck down in this gorgeous tissue paper and then here is the contents of the box so we have got a gorgeous body butter i mean look that's a full size body butter um a full size shower gel oh my god i love this brand <gasps> apple and melon water infusions so you've got a shower gel we've got a melon perfume oh my god that sounds amazing um we've also got a pomegranate super food regenerating sleep mask oh my goodness this is so amazing this is like literally one of my favorite things it's a dr paul paul smoothing balm and i've had this before and honestly i used it all up because it was that good um, and then finally we have a hair mask which is from palmer's so yeah, like I said, it's a lovely concept. £50 worth of products delivered to your door every single month. A little surprise, a treat to you for working hard for the month. Just really, really beautiful. And they're a really, really nice brand. They just take so much care into everything. And every single month, I've always found that I've had really, really good stuff as well. Like one month, for example, I got like a Huda Beauty lip pencil. Honestly, you can get really amazing things in them and they're really worth the money in my opinion. So yeah, I'm going to leave all the links down in the description bar so you can go over and check out Glossy Box. I do have a discount code which is Laura20 which will get you 20% off your first monthly box which will be £8. I had to think then, didn't I? Um, so yeah, like I said, if you use my code you can get your first box for £8. Such a good discount. So yeah, that is that. Okay, so without further ado, I'm now going to get into the Zara haul. I'm not going to ramble any longer because we have a lot to get through. So if you want to see what I picked up from Zara, then please continue watching. Okay, so jumping straight in, the first thing I picked up from Zara is this outfit right here. So as you can see, I picked up this gorgeous black one shoulder top and these white wide leg trousers so let me come in and just talk you through it a little bit more so i really love one shoulder tops you know the drill by now i just love the neckline and i think they're stunning for the summer so i saw this on zara and just thought the detailing looks so beautiful it looks so high end and expensive so yeah it's in sort of like a linen fabric um it's quite a thin fabric so when i actually 
got it at the box, I was a bit like, oh, that, that doesn't feel that thick or like high-end quality, but it actually fits really nice. So I was initially a bit like, hmm, it's quite expensive for what it is. I believe it's around $29.99 for the top, which I know is not super cheap, but it does fit amazing. So I can sort of justify it when it fits so good. So yeah, as you can just see, simple one shoulder. It's got this beautiful sort of like ruched detailing and like puffiness to the top of the sleeve there. It then just drops like that. And again, it's got this sort of like beautiful detailing. It just really makes the top look so flattering. If you pull the top out, it just looks like that. I just feel like this is a beautiful all-rounder top. You can dress it up, as you can see, that's what I've done with these white leg trousers. You could team it with some denim shorts for the spring summer. You could team it with a skirt. So you could dress it up or down. So it is a perfect all-rounder top, and I do absolutely love it. So I've actually teamed it with some white wide leg trousers. Now, I was actually after a new pair of white wide leg trousers because I just wanted a real good quality pair. I have so many pairs, but they're all a little bit thin and just not the best and don't fit the best. These are freaking amazing, guys. Like, honestly, when I tell you these fit and just feel insane, they really do. So these were $39.99. I got these in a size extra small. And oh my goodness, just the quality. You can just tell when... Oh my God, my cat sat down there playing with the tripod, so I hope it doesn't go flying and I hope there's no banging going on. Boop, boop. One second, guys. If these trousers, guys, are honestly just insane. They're in a really nice sort of like thick fabric. And do you know when it's got that stiffness to it? So it really just gives them a real, just nice drop. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? They're really tailored. I absolutely love the pockets on them here. I just think they're a beautiful sort of like more higher end structured pair of wide leg trousers. And I'm definitely going to be keeping these because like I said, I was really after a nice pair and I'm so pleased with the quality of these. And also just for reference, I got the top in a size extra small. So yeah, this is the first outfit. Okay, so sticking to sort of like the going out vibe, I'm going to get all the going out stuff done first. Next thing I got was this absolutely unreal, sort of like mint green co-ord. I don't even know to go on about how much I love two pieces in co-ord. So like if I go out on an evening for drinks and food and stuff, two pieces are normally my sort of vibe, like a blazer two piece. And as soon as I saw this one on Zara, I was like, that it needs to go straight in my basket. I need that for the summer. So yeah, it was going out of stock very quickly. I did have to sign up for like the update when it come back and start. And even then, the first time I missed it, managed to get it on the second time. So yeah, it is this absolutely unreal suit. Like just look at the color of this. I feel like I don't own anything like this in my wardrobe and oh, it's just absolutely incredible. I love it so, so much. So yeah, just this gorgeous mint green color. It just looks with just one single button there. I do feel like I am going to need some sort of like boob tape just to hold that down and really secure me in. I did get an eight in the blazer, which I feel like I probably could have got a six and it would have been a bit tighter, which I would have preferred. But I feel like with Zara, you just never know the sizing. I feel like this sizing can be just be so hit and miss. And sometimes like a six is just way too small. So yeah, I got the eight anyway. The blazer was only $29.99, which I feel is like on the affordable end for Zara. Um, and then the bottoms were only $19.99. I got the bottoms in a six. They fit absolutely spot on perfectly. So if you are my sort of size, definitely side down and get the sixes. Oh, I just love this outfit, guys. Like this on a night time with my hair probably like, all slipped back properly. Um, I feel like we'll look absolutely unreal. And maybe some earrings in as well. Oh, just getting all the inspo already. I also do it in like a real like light pinky colour as well, which looked insane. I'm really pleased with this. Okay, so if you love the last two, I feel like you're going to love this one even more. Oh my goodness, how unreal is this colour, guys? Oh my god, I absolutely love this. Every time I'm trying these outfits and I'm thinking, oh my god, what am I actually going to be sending back? I always do this. I order a ton of stuff and I'll just sort of weigh up what I'm going to keep and what I'm not. And then I end up just keeping the majority of it. So yeah, as you can see, the next outfit is another suit. Like I said, I've just got a thing for suits. And Zara had so many unreal suits on there at the moment. So I just thought I'd stock up for some more. So I've just got outfits on standby for like evenings out and things like that. And yeah, this one just really, really caught my eye just because of the colour. I absolutely love 
still this sort of like bright fuchsia pink color um i just feel like it's a really nice standout color and oh, it just looks insane so this one was slightly more expensive in comparison to like the mint green one so the blazer on this was 49.99 i got this in a size small i did actually want a size extra small but they didn't have any left in stock so i had to size up which was a little annoying because i feel like the extra small would have just fitted me a little bit better a little bit more snug i feel like if you're going to be wearing things like this on a night out that is so plungy you want to make sure it is like super tight and fitted like, don't get me wrong it does fit but i feel like i'm just going to have to do that boob tapey trick and obviously just boob tape it down so i don't have no spillage but yeah beautiful beautiful suit i got the trousers in a size extra small as well and they fit perfect i don't know what price they are because they didn't actually have a tag on but oh my god another amazing suit absolutely love this again quality and everything is just spot on with this guys so yeah another massive thumbs up okay moving on to another going out outfit and this time i've got a beautiful one shoulder top teamed with a pair of wide leg trousers now i don't actually know if this is actual co-ord or i just put it together or what um, but i've originally seen the top and i was like oh my goodness that top is a little bit of me so as you can see it's just like one shoulder top i just absolutely love this top guys it's in a really nice like fabric it's like a um really like high-end crepey fabric it's beautiful so as you can see it's like a one shoulder top like that just literally just sits off your shoulder like that which i just think is really beautiful really stunning and quite flattering as well and then i've simply just tucked it into these wide leg tailored trousers again it's one of those wide leg trousers that's in a really good like sturdy fabric that like i said just really sits and skims past you really fit nice like, as you can see they just look so tailored they've got a beautiful fit i just absolutely love these they do actually have matching blazer to the trousers but because i've already bought them other blazer two pieces um, and sort of preferred them i didn't opt to get the blazer i really love these two together i didn't know if they were going to like work because like i said i didn't know if they were actually part of a cord or not and um, i didn't know if the colors would like mash but they look absolutely stunning team together and yeah i just think this is such another beautiful two-piece to wear for the evening the trousers were 39.99 i got them in extra small so again sort of like middle range price i would say and then the top was 29.99 yeah i'm really really happy with it okay so moving on to the spring summer sort of like daytime or casual outfits next thing i picked up was this gorgeous little play suit now i feel like zara play me when it comes to sizing does anyone else ever like put their details into their size and like find my size and it always tells me i'm a size small so i order a small but i get the stuff and it's just big um so yeah i probably should just listen to my own like instincts um so yeah i love this but it is big i feel like it's a bit like big and unflattering and i feel like i really have to cinch the belt in to make it look a little bit more flattering so let me come in and show you so it is it's gorgeous sort of like light blue play suit so it's in sort of like a really like thin sort of like linen-y fabric and um, it's obviously perfect for the spring summer um, and as you can see it's got these like gorgeous sort of they're not full length sleeves they're just slightly slightly shorter than full length then elasticate it around the end and then it comes down it's got two buttons here a gorgeous tie waist belt and then it just goes into these sort of like floaty short i absolutely love this i feel like it's quite quite a classy outfit oh my god it's got pockets as well i just realized that i feel like it looks quite classy quite sophisticated and i feel like with a nice pair of sandals it would look beautiful i just feel like maybe i could have got a size down do you know when something just feels a little bit big like especially like around here it just feels a little bit big on me um so yeah i may get the size down just to see how that feels but yeah i really like this how much was this um like i said i got it in a size small and it was 29.99 which i don't think is bad value at all so yeah okay so the next thing i got from zara was actually the jacket and the dress please excuse my little white legs i'm not actually tanned um i don't actually think these sandals go i just don't have any footwear to go with these little dresses so yeah next thing i got was just a basic denim jacket i actually wish i'd got this in a bigger size i feel like i might return it and get it in a size up it was an absolute bargain so it was 25.99 i got it in a medium i wanted that sort of do that sort of like oversized denim jacket look like i don't like my denim jackets fitted i like them quite big so i can sort of like slouch them over or even when i wear them they just look big but 
for a medium this is not big and oversized at all so yeah that's a jacket which i feel like it's good value for 25.99 so if you're looking for a nice little jacket for the summer spring summer definitely have a look at that one that's what i got first of all and then i got just a simple black button up dress so yeah i just thought it was something really cute just to chuck on for every day in the summer so like a really soft like brushed fabric it's beautiful fabric so yeah as you can see it's got this beautiful v-neck these floaty sleeves and it just buttons down again i did the thing where i listened to zara and i got this in a size small and it's just a little bit big i just don't feel like it's that flattering because i like if i'm gonna wear something i don't want it to be baggy and just make it look like i'm wearing a bin bag like I don't know, I just feel like it's just not, it's not as tight as it should be, you know? Um, so yeah, I feel like, again, I probably would have got this in an extra small. It was $25.99, which again, quite fairly priced. So yeah, really pleased. Okay, so next up, another summer dress. And this time I got this gorgeous white little dress. So again, this is $25.99. I actually got this in a size extra small this time. I think the fit is a little bit better actually. Um, and yeah, this is what it looks like. So it's got this, what is this called? Is it broidery along leg? Well, I don't even know. I can't even say that. But as you can see, it's got this gorgeous detailing on the sleeves. Um, and then when you come down to the dress, it's like elasticated here. When you come down to here, it's sort of got like a texture all over it. It's fully lined as well, which I really like. I'm not too sure though. I'm not really too sure if this is me. Oh yeah, it's got pockets as well. It is really nice. I just feel like it's missing something here. I feel like if I was to style this, I'd probably put like a little waist belt here. I do like the concept of it. I really like white dresses in this one. I think they look so beautiful. Um, and I'm really actually glad that it has pockets. That's like made me change my mind about it. Um, but yeah, I just feel like something's missing here. So maybe, I'd probably put like a little belt or something there just to, do you know what I mean, cinch it in a little bit more. Okay, so this is more like it. I feel like this is definitely more of a me dress compared to the last couple that I've tried on. I like tightness. Like, I don't like things to be baggy because I just feel like, I don't know, like, I just feel like it does nothing for my figure. Um, so yeah, this next one, I definitely feel like it's a little bit more me. So as you can see, it's this gorgeous sort of like little mini bodycon dress with straps. It's in this beautiful like textured weave fabric, if you can see. Let me show you, is that gonna focus? The fabric of this is honestly insane. So it just, again, does up with all these gorgeous little buttons. It has like this little, like, I don't know, like raw edge frilly detailing around here. It's got faux pockets, which I really like. And yeah, I absolutely love this one. The only problem is straps. Oh. There's gotta be a problem, hasn't there? There's always gonna be something that spoils it. So yeah, unfortunately, this will be returned because you guys know by now I have an issue with straps. So unless I was to sort of like alter it, um, it would have to be returned. I guess I could alter it actually. I guess obviously I could take it somewhere and get it altered. So that could be a possibility. So yeah, a little bit annoying that that doesn't fit properly there. But other than that, I absolutely love this dress. It's a real beautiful quality and it was only $29.99 and I got it in a size extra small. Okay, so the next thing I picked up on Zara was this gorgeous sort of like blousy one shoulder shirt thing again. And some black little long length like tailored shorts. So I'm going to come in and show you. So this is the shirt first of all. I just really like this. You guys know I've got a thing for like one shoulder shirts. And I just really like this. Something just really like caught my eye about it. Um, so I need to change the bra situation because I've got a black bra on. So before anyone says anything, I know. I really love the detailing on this. So it's got this gorgeous gold button. I just feel like it looks very high end and expensive. Although... One thing that does let it down is probably the sheerness of the fabric. Like, you've got this gorgeous gold, you know, button that makes it all, like, very high end. But then the sort of fabric of it is quite thin. But I feel like if you sorted the bra situation out, it would be a lot better. But, yeah, I just thought it was something a little bit different, quite smart. You could wear it for, like, workwear. But, obviously, then you could dress it for, like, an everyday cash sort of look. Um, how much was this? I believe it was $29.99. Yeah, and I got it in an extra small. I just simply teamed it with these black sort of like tailored um, shorts 
I think I'm more of like a short girl than like a skirt girl to be quite honest. I just love feeling like comfy and I feel like when I wear a skirt I just feel a bit open. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I don't know, I just really like shorts and trousers. Um, but yeah, anyway, these are the bottoms. I got these again in a small, they were 19.99 and they fit really beautifully. They've got pockets as well. Um, so yeah, these could be like a nice addition for like spring, summer if you are more of a short person. So keeping the same top on, I then also picked up these shorts again I'm not really like a short short gal like I'm not an up your ass short person I know that there's so many of those styles around but I'm just not comfortable with the tops of my legs so I don't like wearing styles like that so yeah I saw these like longer length, longer length version they're almost like cycling shorts um but obviously not in that sort of fabric if you know what I mean um and yeah so I picked up these but I've just tried these and see what they're like so my thoughts are I like them I just wish they were high waisted. I'm not here for like low rise or mid rise jeans or any sort of trousers. I don't like that mid mid wash, mid rise um, style. It has to be high waist to me, and they are sort of. I've, I've like pulled them up to try and make them like a high rise, but I do feel like they're not. I don't know, I just feel like I want them a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, they are really nice fit. I got these in a size 8, they're 29.99. I don't know, maybe they'll grow on me. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd pick these up and see if I could maybe work these into my spring summer wardrobe. Just something a little bit different and just to add some denim in without having to wear jeans. So obviously, it's most likely going to be too hot for jeans. So yeah, this is the next outfit. Okay, so moving on to the last outfit, which I feel like is another absolute fail. I feel like we started off so well in this hour haul. And honestly, towards the end, I've just really not been feeling any of the things. Um, so yeah, you just never know, do you guys, until you buy things. I feel like sometimes you can be so fooled with what they look like on the models and how they're styled up, and then when you get them and put them on you, they actually just don't look like that. Um, so anyway, I saw this outfit again, it was styled up by Zara on the website, and I was like, oh my god, I never thought of getting yellow trousers, like, not really me, but it just looked so stunning and so sort of like spring summer vibes, I thought I'd get it and try it out for myself. First of all, who the hell puts hanging loops? right on here like that like who who wants hanging loops there like it's the most annoying thing ever so that's one thing i'm going to moan about and say is it's annoying secondly this top again just doesn't really look like how it did on the website and how it did look on the model it looks so beautiful on her doesn't look like that on me at all it's very long and yeah as you can see i probably would have to take my bra off one night but you know i'm not here for that um, secondly, trousers. I got them in a six just because every time I seem to get eights and Zara, they're too big, rather the waist and stuff. So I got them in a six, and the sixes, although I've got them on, I can't actually do the zip up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm struggling. I actually do quite like the trousers in a weird way. Um, I don't know if I'd actually wear them, but they do actually have like a nice fit. There's something like really different about them. I don't know, they're sort of like long, wide leg and just sort of go yeah they're not like ankle bashes but they're not super long if you know what i mean i don't actually hate it but i don't know i i, I don't know it's just one of the outfits guys that i thought oh my god it looks really stunning on the model but i don't know it probably isn't my style and something that i would wear but anyway but i try it out so yeah this is the last outfit okay so moving on to accessories now and the last few things i picked up so the first thing was a bag. It's been a while since I ordered a bag from Zara. And I feel like every spring, summer, I get a new bag from Zara and I'm obsessed with it. Um, and I saw this one and I just really liked it. It's a sort of like wicker bag. with like a black, gorgeous flap over. Um, it's got like gold hardware on as well. I just thought it was like quite cute. It does also have a strap. Um, like a really gorgeous gold, sh okay the strap's not attached, I was so went to pull that over me and it didn't work. Um, so yeah, it does have a gorgeous gold strap as well, it opens like that. Yeah, I just thought it was quite cute, um, I like the fact that you can have it just as like a hold, or you can put it across body. So yeah, I really liked that, and it was only $29.99. Um, the next thing I picked up was actually a pair of heels. I am not one for big heels, I can't walk in them, I'm not going to wear them and they do my head in. I really wanted a pair of heels that I could style more for like a day to day. I like that little bit of height. I'm five foot three, so any extra inches will do kindly. Um, so yeah, I got these. So they were $29.99. I just thought these would be the perfect little pair of like, sort of like 
almost kitten heels just for like day to day just to go with like i said little dresses um little play suits just to give me that extra little height um, and yeah, I really, really love these. I think they look so stunning and they were not badly priced either. Like I said, they were only $29.99. So yeah, obsessed with those. And then finally, the last thing I picked up from Zara was just a pair of these like slide up sandals. So this is what they look like. They're just black with this sort of like silver hardware on. I absolutely love them. Just got like studded silver hardware on. These were $25.99. So again, not badly priced at all. And yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm going to wear these with, though. I'm going to have to look and play around in style. I feel like I've been really struggling with sandals at the moment. Been on the hunt for, like, nice sandals and just, you know, like, flats, just a team with little dress and stuff. But I've just not been finding anything I like. Um, so I'm hoping that these might go and look okay. So fingers crossed. But yeah, I just really liked the look of those. So I picked them up as well. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up from Zara. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this haul. I feel like overall it was success. The stuff at the beginning, oh my God, I absolutely loved it so much. Um, there was a couple of dresses I liked, but obviously, as you know, there was a few I didn't. Um, but yeah, look, no haul is 100% like spot on, is it? Sometimes there are things that you're not so sure on. That's what it's all about, isn't it? But yeah, that is what I picked up from Zara. I really, really hope you have enjoyed it. Also, do remember to check out Glossy Box before you go. I am going to link all the details about them in the description box with their social media channels too. So yeah, do go and check them out. Thank you all so, so much for watching. As per usual, if you are new here, then please do subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the absolute world to me. I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.